what's wrong with this map? It's a map of Europe, but something is amiss. I call this area Hidden Europe. This is Estonia. <laughs> While tourists flock to beaches along the Mediterranean, I'm heading to the Baltic beaches from Finland to the west coast of Estonia, a little area called Perakula. Here, the summers are long, warm, and quiet. But this wasn't the first time. The first time was actually in 2022, and I didn't get enough footage for me to complete a full episode of Airbnb Feast, but this time I will, 2023. But the first round started off, well, it was a little bit weird. This is Lotima. It's a kids amusement park that is horrifically expensive and horrifically odd. Wild ride. The hell is this? The hell? This place is, um, well, it's just a little bit odd. Everything is made from, well, simply put, it's made from junk. With that in mind, the markup of this place must be astronomical. So I just walked past that sleeping thing, and there was this little girl who looked like she was on the verge of tears. Like. Oh god! This doesn't feel like it's made for me at all. Whoop, 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 whoop. I don't know what I just saw, but I saw it. I don't know whether I'm better or worse for that. You sure your ass will handle it? I should do. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Across two years, we went to exactly the same place and caught exactly the same mood. Getting to the beach here is, yeah, it's tough. Most extreme uh, thing I've ever had to do just to get to the beach. Oh God. Ugh. Oh, Castanotic. You Estonians are committed. Driving through there in two different cars, one rental and one not, threatened to rip out the undercarriage of the car, but somehow we survived. And even the beach access points aren't exactly, well, they're not signposted at all. You just sort of find your way through the forest to the beach. And that difficult access is, well, it's evident. And I can only show you why. Would you believe that this is Estonia? <laughs> this is crazy. Here, the sun sits in the sky for a whopping 18 hours in the summer. And as a result, the days are long and the nights, well, they're really short. Here, I minimize sleep but maximize life.
sort of wish that we'd made this the uh, Airbnb feast of choice, the Airbnb at least. Every Airbnb location is a potential Airbnb feast location, it's just that sometimes it doesn't always work out in terms of the planning. We're still cooking something, but it's it's not Airbnb feast material, even though this kitchen could have easily done it. Very nice, very beautiful location. A bit of this, got a bit of that going on. I cooked, uh, so I cooked humble sausage and potatoes, which isn't nearly enough for what an Airbnb feast should be. And come hell or high water, I was gonna skewer those ambitions. So when you're on, we're back at this marvelous Airbnb feast. Pork and beef patties were well seasoned and mixed with egg and dill, of course, and a generous amount of breadcrumbs and then fried in a generous amount of oil. I googled afterwards that this is apparently a thing or close to a thing called hakotletid. Hakotletid. In reality, I was just making something that was quick and with a Baltic influence. In Latvia, it was kotletis, but I'd never made them with crumbs before. That plus mash and a dill salsa, which I am basically certain is not a thing, and a berry and honey compote. And it was delicious. <laughs> Sometimes you have these amazing memories of a place and then when you go back it's not it's not quite as good as you remembered it. It's the law of diminishing marginal returns, but this is so far not that. Come back and it's just as lovely as I remember. Not slightly better. But uh, yeah, it feels really good to have a bit of closure on Airbnb Feast Estonia even if the gap between them was over a year in the making. I'm satisfied. Second of July, 2022. Thank you. Finally remember. I wrote this a while ago. This country is an enigma, and my island-born brain can't wrap my head around the fact that you can cross a line and be in another country. And how Latvian can just stop at the border, and suddenly everyone is speaking Estonian with very little blur between those lines. And I'm in a country that is completely foreign and completely opaque. There aren't many places left like this in Europe. Having only restored independence in 1991 and having joined the EU in 2004, Estonia, nestled up in the corner of mainland Europe, feels delightfully oblique. Where many other European countries have folded into the mainstream through the outreach of food, good weather and accommodating size, this small but forward-thinking nation seems to maintain its mystery. But then I've got to ask myself, why is it like this? Where are all the Estonians? Seriously, every time I've been to Estonia, the quietest supermarket I've ever been to, the quietest beach, the quietest city center, hell, even your following distances while you're driving make me feel like there's nobody on the road. Outside looking in, it feels like you're all in your own personal havens. That's admirable. We were leaving the Airbnb. And the owner asked us, uh, where are you going next? And I said, oh, we're going to the Rumu. And she said, oh, no, no, don't go there. It's got bad vibes. Now, I understand it used to be a prison and it used to also be a quarry, but now it's a lake with a building inside it and it looks really cool. But the reason I actually disagree is because 
When you are able to pave over the past with things that are generally fun and happy, it's quite an admirable trait. Now, although Western xenophobia towards post-Soviet countries hangs around like a bad smell, seeing the progressive and modern ideas that come to the forefront after this decades-long disruption is really cool to see. And so I was driving back to Latvia and I thought this country is, yeah, it's overlooked, but I'm not complaining about that at all because the longer I can keep my empty, sun-drenched haven, the better. So I've just finished editing the video. You never saw this video. You never saw it. Forget it ever happened. Estonia doesn't exist. It's not often um, a restaurant gets a second chance. I've been to this McDonald's before and it was bollocks. So let's see how this one goes. This is the hamburger. Redemption, that's, that's pretty good. That tastes like it should. Maybe lacking a little bit of salt. Maybe just a touch on the bland side now that it's sort of settled. Mm. A little bit on the dry side, but hot and fresh. So that's nice. I'll have to think about where I rate this one. Not top 10.